जनरल इलेक्शन वेर हेल्ड इन इंडिया बिट्वीन ट्वेंटी फाइव ऑक्टोबर नाइनटीन फिफ्टी वन एंड ट्वेंटी वन फेब्रुवारी नाइनटीन फिफ्टी टू द फर्स्ट आफ्टर इंडिया अटेंड इंडिपेन्डन्स इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन इट वॉज अ ह्यूमंगस एक्सरसाइज इन विच अ सिक्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड पॉप्युलेशन वॉज गोइंग टू वोट मेकिंग इट द लार्जेस्ट इलेक्शन कंडक्टेड इन द वर्ल्ड एट द टाइम वोटर्स इलेक्टेड द फोर हंड्रेड एंड एटी नाइन मेम्बर्स ऑफ द फर्स्ट लोकसभा द लोअर हाउस ऑफ द पार्लियामेंट ऑफ इंडिया इलेक्शन टू मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टेट लेजिस्लेचर्स वेर हेल्ड साइमल्टेनियसली द इलेक्शन वेर कंडक्टेड अंडर द प्रोविजन्स ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एडॉप्टेड ऑन ट्वेंटी सिक्स नोवेम्बर नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन आफ्टर द एडॉप्शन ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन असेंबली कंटिन्यू टू एक्ट एज द इंट्रीम पार्लियामेंट वाइल एन इंट्रीम कैबिनेट वॉज हेडेड बाय जवाहरलाल नेहरू एन इलेक्शन कमीशन वॉज क्रिएटेड इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी नाइन एंड इन मार्च नाइनटीन फिफ्टी Su Kumar Sen was appointed as the first Chief Election Commissioner. A month later, Parliament passed the Representation of the People Act, which set out how the elections for Parliament and state legislatures would be conducted. The first among many challenges was the share population of India, 360 million then. India adopted universal adult suffrage when the Constitution was enacted, and this made 173 million people above the age of 21 eligible to vote. However, 85% eligible population could not read or write. In this, the task of identifying, naming and registering voters was a big challenge. When the representatives of the election commission visited villages to collect electoral data during first general elections, a large number of women refused to share their names with strangers. Instead, they identified themselves as someone's wife, mother, daughter, sister or widow. As a result, 28 lakh names were removed from the voters list during the first election. Parliamentary constituencies had to be finalized based on the census data, which happened only in 1951. Then there were the issues of designing party symbols, ballot papers and ballot boxes for the uneducated population of the country. There also were polling stations to be built and spaced out properly, and efficient polling officers had to be recruited and trained. The 489 seats of the Lok Sabha were allotted across 401 constituencies in 25 states. There were 314 constituencies electing one member using the first past the post system. 86 constituencies elected two members, one from the general category and one from scheduled castes or scheduled tribes. There was one constituency with three elected representatives. The multi-seat constituencies were created as reserved seats for backward sections of society and were abolished in the 1960s. The constitution at this time also provided for two Anglo-Indian members to be nominated by the president of India. A total of 1949 candidates competed for 489 seats in the Lok Sabha. Each candidate was allotted a different colored ballot box at the polling booth on which each candidate's name and symbol were written. 16500 clerks were appointed on a contract of 6 months to type and collect the electorate rolls and 380000 reams of paper were used for printing the rolls. A total of 17 crore 32 lakh 12343 voters were registered excluding Jammu and Kashmir. Out of a population of 36 crore 10 lakh 88090 according to the 1951 census making it the largest election conducted at the time due to the harsh climate and challenging logistics the election was held in 68 phases a total of 1 lakh 96084 polling booths were set up of which 27527 booths were reserved for women the majority of voting took place in early 1952 but himachal pradesh voted in 1951 as its weather was commonly inclement in february and march with heavy snow impending free movement the remainder of states voted in february march 1952 except for jammu and kashmir where no voting took place for lok sabha seats until 1967 the first votes of the election were cast in the chini district in himachal pradesh A total of 53 parties and 533 independents contested the 489 seats. 14 parties were considered national parties while the rest were considered state parties. All these challenges took their time to overcome, but when it finally happened, 45.7% of the eligible population walked out of their homes for the first time to practice their right to vote. The result was a landslide victory for the Indian National Congress which received 45% of the vote and won 364 of the 489 seats. 
सोशलिस्ट पार्टी रिसीव्ड ओनली 11% परसेंट ऑफ द वोट एंड वन ट्वेल्व सीट्स कम्युनिस्ट पार्टी ऑफ इंडिया रिसीव्ड ओनली 3.29% पॉइंट ट्वेंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द वोट एंड वन सिक्सटीन सीट्स एंड बिकेम द मेन अपोजिशन पार्टी जवाहरलाल नेहरू बिकेम इंडिपेंडेंट इंडियाज फर्स्ट डेमोक्रेटिकली इलेक्टेड प्राइम मिनिस्टर इंडिया बिकेम द लार्जेस्ट डेमोक्रेसी इन द वर्ल्ड विद अ गवर्नमेंट बाय द पीपल एंड फॉर द पीपल Several ministers resigned from their posts and formed their own parties to contest the elections. Shama Prasad Mukherjee established the Janasang in October 1951 and law minister B R Ambedkar revived the scheduled castes federation which was later named the Republican Party. Other parties which started coming to the forefront included the Kisan Mazdoor Praja Parishad whose prime mover was Acharya Kriplani, the Socialist Party led by Ram Manohar Lohia and Jay Prakash Narayan. and the communist party of india however these smaller parties were unable to make an electoral stand against the indian national congress the speaker of the first lok sabha was ganesh vasudev maulankar the first lok sabha also witnessed 677 sittings total 3784 hours the highest recorded count of the number of sitting hours the lok sabha lasted its full term from 17 april 1952 until 4 april 1957 If you enjoyed this video then please like and share this video do subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon